greetings woot noobs um, this is for those of you who are kind of trying to figure out how to scan your stuff or draw it even in the computer and then ink it in Photoshop um, basically we'll start out here I already have my sketch uh, laid out a few basic things is you really want to be doing this with the tablet if you're drawing with the mouse it's you know uh, you're making life way more difficult for yourself I use an Intuos um, Wacom pad but you can get a even the bamboo to start out with uh, the nicer tablets have more levels of uh, pressure sensitivity and that's a big advantage uh, for you um, couple things I like to use the brush tool to ink and I will do all my inking on a layer that way if I don't like something I can go ahead and go back and uh, erase it without affecting my original sketch um, you can either use one of these tapered type of brushes you definitely want something with the hard edge though you don't want something that has any sort of feather to it um, these ones allow you to control by varying the pressure on your tablet what sort of uh, line you know your line weights a as you draw um, you, the feathered brushes are just too soft for inking you know it's gonna look like a mess I usually um, do all my inking with just this sort of dead weight brush because it's easier for me to control I'm not the greatest inker in the world but uh, you know I make do so what I'm gonna do I'm starting my layer I'm gonna go ahead and grab this brush and find the right weight that I like I don't want it to be too fat otherwise I'm losing everything and I don't want it to be too thin either um, so you gotta find what's right for you then I just go in here and start drawing and what I like to be mindful of while I'm doing this is that I'm closing all of my lines because it's gonna help me later when I'm coloring now this stuff I don't need to worry about closing because it's all part of the face detail so that's not really gonna gonna affect me while I'm coloring and if I don't like something, um, I can either go in there with the eraser tool, set to brush, and again, pick the same brush that you're inking with. Or I can just uh, set my brush to white, and I can do it that way. It doesn't really matter whichever you prefer. And a lot of times while I'm inking, I don't follow my lines, uh, my sketch lines exactly. Sometimes I'll see stuff that I want to change. Um, and that's fine. It's, you know, it. it's your art, so definitely make the choices as you see fit. Don't feel like you have to be locked into what you already drew. It's good to be flexible. and a lot of times you know um, what I like about inking on the computer better than with pen and ink is I can go back and just undo things um, you know you don't want to keep undoing forever and never get your piece of art finished that's for sure but um, you know being able to undo something that you don't like like how I'm not matching those up I can keep going until I get it just right um, let's see you can take as much time on inking as you would like um, for this tutorial since I only have 10 minutes worth of video I can put up at a time um, on YouTube I'm just trying to get through this as quickly as possible and I'll also show you um, how to color in Photoshop in the next video
Now something like this uh, curve for this little string holding his hat on, I can just draw it by hand. But if I um, want a specific curve, I will go to the pen tool and uh, pull these beziers until they're how I want it. Um, pull out, open my paths window and uh, stroke path and what that'll do is it'll take the brush I selected and the size I selected and just ink right over it. Um, if I have one of these tapered brushes selected and do that and go to stroke path it'll ask uh, if it wants to simulate pressure and if I click that it'll you know um, it'll make its own decision on how much pressure to put so I'm not gonna deal with that right now and now looking back uh, I'll throw out my path I might think that see I have these f lines aren't real uniform outlining everything so then I'll go back and fatten these ones up until everything is I think looks good Now if you don't want your lines to be fat and you've gone too fat then again I'll just go in there and and shave a little bit of that off um, and when you do that though sometimes you get a little bit of a an uneven line so then you're gonna have to go back in and ink it again um, you know until you get things exactly how you like it there's a lot of going back and forth and that's it for the inking part so once I'm done with that I can go ahead and uh, flatten this and go to image adjustments threshold uh, 128 levels it'll get a, rid of everything that's not black and it'll give you a solid uh, bit mapped piece of art to work with um, you have to worry about anti-aliasing and what this helps with is when I'm coloring I can just go ahead and bucket everything not worry about where it's going to how you know it's gonna look under the lines or anything like that um, it when you come up close it's kinda jaggy but at print size it's not gonna be any big deal at all and so that's it for the inking part of it. Also, you can select the white here. And uh, actually, I could select the black, copy it to a new layer, and uh, then I'll have a transparent, the art on a transparency. And I can even fill this background in with the color. And when I'm coloring, I'll know exactly what it's going to look like on a shirt color. Um, that's it for the inking. I'll try to color this up and post a video as soon as possible.